Hey, what is going on guys? Edward here back with another video and as you guys wanted to see part two of the ATM indicator by Paneso Tech. If you haven't seen the part one, I'm gonna leave the link at the top right here at the corner so you can go ahead and watch part one of this indicator. Uh, I'm gonna go over a few more things that this indicator has and you know, on how you can actually use it but I am literally just scratching the surface of this thing because it has a ton of options. I decided to collaborate uh, with uh, Luis Paneso because of what he is offering, okay? He does have, this is actually his website if you wanna take a look right here. And uh, he offers this indicator, but not just the indicator. He, do, he also have a trading, um, plan basically right here this is actually his uh, telegram and he shows he explains how it works he has a couple of his own strategies based on this indicator that i of course i can there are a couple of things that i cannot release with you right here right now but there is a lot of things and actually you can use on mt4 and mt5 similar um so uh, as you can see, guys, you can check out the website. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. If you want to check it out. And if you want to follow him on Instagram, this is his actual Instagram right here. I'm also going to leave uh, his uh, Instagram on my description. So go ahead and check it out. And let's go ahead and and go over this thing. Like, what is it? What this indicator is about um, what the things you can do, the cool things that it has. All right. You can literally trade in any time frame, okay, using this indicator, any time frame. Of course, you have to know price action. You have to understand price action before you, you actually get any indicator. I always explain this in all of my videos, okay? If you've been following me for a long time, you know that I always explain this. Before you use any sort of indicator, please study price action first. As I mentioned, and the cool thing about this one in particular from from Paneso is that you have the group you and he is actually sort of teaching you how to use it properly okay so that's why i recommend you this uh this indicator if you're interested in all right so one simple thing or one simple steps you can use here is that you see that we have this moving average right here which is basically a 200 period moving moving average once you get this indicator it won't appear right here on indicators by the way if you're trying to look for it it's not going to appear here you have to ask for permission so only by invitation only you can get the indicator all right you have to get access to the indicator first this is a paid indicator so i recommend you just checking it out first all right uh, so you go under settings right here and there are a couple of things a lot of things actually that you can do you can select the times where you are actually trading if you want to trade only new york session you click here and it will show you the sessions it will give you actually by going right here on the hours right you can choose your trading time so let's say you trade only from 8 a.m i don't know to midday new york time right the indicators if you select the time right here the indicators will give you only signals during those times okay at the moment, just for this example, I'm going to be using the entire day because I want to show you on the one minute that you can use this in any time frame and it, it, almost in every hour, literally during Asian session as well. Although you already know what I what I always think about trading during Asian session is dangerous. Uh, but I mean, if you happen to spot a really good setup, you can try it. OK, the important thing here is that you guys are back testing. OK. So as you can see that when the market is actually below, and well, in this case, above, when the price is above the 200 period moving average, you're only going to get buy signals. You're never going to get sell signals. Okay. You're only, the indicator will only be giving you sell signals once it break below the 200 period moving average. Okay. This is also customizable. All right. You can literally just change the settings right there for that 200 a period of moving average if i'm not mistaken which is right here it's a ema exponential moving average you can also change it i don't recommend you changing it i don't recommend you uh because the the indicator just really works as it is the standard just by default you can totally make you know money with this thing just right there 
All right. So how it works. There's a couple of things you need to know. All right. So uh, right here, I do use also this indicator, which is called time zone. You don't need to use it, to be honest. All you need to do is just remember the hour and that's it. Okay. So I normally trade from 8 a.m. to around 1 p.m. Okay. So I have it marked up there so my students can see. But let's say, okay, you are in London session and you see market was actually a little bullish. It was giving you buying signals, right, for a little while until, boom, all of a sudden it started breaking and failing uh, to continue above. So structure is key in this case. If you want to take the, take the first entry right here, it's up to you, okay? I don't recommend this way. It's sort of like the first break right there is very aggressive or you will have to see where is the market. So let's go ahead and check it out. Right here, there is a little support and resistance. Market broke that, retested, and then continued from dropping. So let's say you ignore that one, okay? Let's say you are ignored. You want to see if it's just a fake out. Remember, sometimes you will get faked outs as well, depending on what's happening. News, you know, some, some important news that may affect the markets. So you let this one go. You let the market do its thing to see if in reality it wants to go down, okay? It's important to understand that um, Peneso, he has a strategy based on, on, on box. So once the market breaks the consolidation as well, and you are below right here in this case, you see the market was creating a consolidation. We were below the moving average. So it gave a break right there in this case. And we see that the market, um, the actual indicator gave us a sell signal. Okay. It gave us a sell signal with this candle. So where do you put the stop loss? The stop loss has to go above that swing high. And the take profit, you go for at least one to two. Okay. One to two is the recommended take profit for that. Okay. So what did the market do after that? You see, after this consolidation broke. So then price pulled back again. It started, look at this, it started consolidating again. Right? A little box right there. It broke the box. That consolidation box gave the signal right there. Where do you put the stop loss? You have to put it above the swing high. Okay. Look at the aggressive sale. It was very fast right here. It was one single move right there. Very aggressive. So you have to put the stop loss. You have to secure that in there above that high. Okay. So where's the take profit? One to two as well. All right. Price was pretty much going down all the time in here. We had a consolidation. We had another box sort of right here. Right? Now pay attention to this. Look what the market did. Right? Market is sort of from here. Having an impulse, little correction, impulse, correction, break. Right? So if you enter right here with the actual sale signal that you got. Right? You have to put above the next, the closest swing high, which is this one. Okay. And again, you go for that one to two. Not all the time you're going to get lucky, right? You're going to get a nice trend like that. Not all the time. But believe me, um, if you stick to this, you can see that this nice downtrend right there, you were able to actually catch three sales, three nice sales, and just pretty much exactly the same pattern. Let's go right here. Let's say you want to actually to go buy. In this area and you see i'm actually on the one minute time frame and this is very important okay this is why i say guys whenever it breaks for the first time the 200 period moving average the 200 ema just watch out just be careful okay if you want to get in right away okay if you did get in you have to place this if your entry was right there with that one your stop loss would have to go below the swing low right here okay it has to go there you decide to wait and not enter on this one right you decide let's say you um, i'm gonna let the first one pass and you wait for the second position so the second one was giving you an entry right there the price was actually breaking back on top let's see if we had some sort of a structure we want to see always the structure okay you have a support I see we have some sort of resistance right here, right? This was the consolidation. You see the market when it broke, the consolidation was, this is when it was giving you the signal right there. 
So literally, if you were entering here, I mean, that's fine as long as you know where the swing low is, the next swing low, which was right there, it's up to you. Or you waited for the next one, which was that, and the stop loss in this case, there, all right? And that's it. You go for that one to two. That's basically it, all right? Now, <clears throat> the important thing, again, that I want to, to, to mention with this one, see another consolidation right here. And while the price is still bullish, by the way, just look at the color of the candles, right? You see golden, when it's, when it's yellow, it means a strong buy. When it's gray, <clears throat> the color of the candles are gray, it means it's ranging or it's weak, you know? And when it's red, it's a strong sale. That's why the three colors, okay? It's using the three colors. So strong buy, yellow. Gray, it means consolidation or it's weak. You should not be getting or looking for entries when it's gray, okay? You have to be looking for buys when either it's golden uh, or yellow or looking for sales when it's red, okay? Don't make entries when the candles are gray. You have to ignore that, all right? So right here, you had another consolidation, but look at the sigma. This candle is huge, right? Huge, huge, huge. Sometimes it's going to happen. Maybe some sort of news, something happened. Just be careful with news. I recommend you not trading news, okay? To be honest, don't trade news. In this case, let's go ahead and just take a look at, at the move. I just want to look, right? Where's the swing low? Look at this. This is one single push, right? These are all bullish candles. So where's the swing low? It's definitely right here, right? Where's my take profit? This case would have to be one to two, right? But you see, I don't like when, unfortunately, it gave the signal with this big candle right there. Huge. So that means that my take profit is going to be a little further away. You know, still one single simple rule that you can just hear is one, you're halfway up. You should be taking partial profits, maybe moving your stops to break even, right? And let it run. Okay. It would have played out at least hit your TP1 and then boom, got you on break even. Okay. Very important, guys, to pretty much follow what I'm just explaining you right here. And this is just as I mentioned. I'm just scratching the surface. I'm literally just scratching the surface. Right here, you see that the market was actually giving you a sale with this one, right? But you were still in the consolidation, okay? So watch out. Sometimes you have to make a decision. Should I definitely get into the sale or not? It's not breaking like it did break here to the upside, right? So this one is giving me a sale, but it's not breaking that yet. I might actually wait for a candle breakout, you know. So watch out for that because sometimes you you can get you can get losses. Let's say let's say actually you took that loss anyways. Let's say you decided to jump in on that sale and you place your stop loss above that swing high, and then you go with a one to two. All right, you lost that one. Then you realize what you did wrong and you say, oh yeah, okay, well I should have waited maybe for another candle to show up, at least breaking the support. Because it never broke. It gave the signal, but it never broke, you know. So that would have been a loss. That's fine. You are going to have losses. Okay. So right here, what do we have? It's giving us another sale. You see, market is actually breaking below the 200. So where is the, the, the price coming from? Uh, hold on. Let me just mute my cell phone for a, for a second. All right. So where is the price coming from? We had this consolidation right here. It starts breaking. Let's see a little bit in the past. There's a little support and resistance right here. Right here, there's a support as well. So the price sort of broke this support, this previous support. It broke it, and it was actually given the signal right there. Now, this one gets tricky as well. Let's say you wanted to get in there. Where is the next swing high? The previous swing high. So let me just hide the indicator for a moment. I want to see the candles. Hmm. This one would have got you out, most likely. Because look at this. If you would have placed this stop loss very tight right there, you most likely are, uh, you would have got stopped out. Market did drop, though. But you would have got stopped out. Sometimes what you can do is to try to look for protection 
above or below the cloud, okay? This cloud. So it means if your position is right there, if you consider that this is very tight, you can say, you know what? I'm going to try to put it just above the cloud right there. It's not too far away. You know, it's, it's a decent zone, right? And you're still within that one to two, which is just fine. So, you know, you're taking cover with the cloud. The same if you enter on this one, for example, right here, right? You enter right there. You can take cover. You can even, if you don't want to put it that far on the swing low, you can maybe take cover and just put it below the cloud. You know, you make it shorter. It's up to you. Sometimes, sometimes the market will still get you out, okay? So you have to back test. You have to do a lot of back testing. If you put it, for example, here, Let's say you entered on this one, right? You did take actually this one and you put it below the cloud. What happened? Oh, market did stop you up. So in this case, it did respect, it at least did not go lower than the swing low, the next swing low right there. So you see, it's, it's relative. You have to do your work. You have to do your own due diligence right here and work it out and see which zones it would work best for you. Sometimes, you know, putting it a little further away just in case, as long as you're not over risking, risking more than one or two percent per trade, that's what I always explain, you know. So just just watch out. But literally, guys, right here we have another break of a structure. This was a nice break. It looks like a nice support and resistance. Okay, we had a nice break to the upside. It was still gray, the candles you see, and boom, right here. That's when it starts giving us the signal to go buy. Okay, now look at this. Also, the stop loss is very tight. If you put it right there, it's very tight and very close to the 200 period moving average. It's very close. Recommendation, put it a little further away. Maybe look for that below this zone. Okay, below the actual cloud. In this case, it's up to you. Or you want to put it below, it's very far away. Now that's more than, let's see for example, yeah, at least this swing low. We have impulse, correction, impulse, correction, impulse. If you didn't want it to put it here because it's very close, at least this one. Okay? That's why, guys, you have to back test. Since you're very close anyways there, I'll put it maybe there. That's fine. And you go for the one to two. Don't forget that once you are halfway up, take partial profits or close half of your position and then leave your um, entry running to see if it hits actually your TP2. So if you go and back test this strategy, guys, um, it will definitely uh, work out for you. All right. It definitely needs a lot of back testing. Yeah. So that's basically it, guys. If you want to check it out, just make sure to go to the link in the description below and you will see uh, check out the website you will find out uh, the actual prices for that as i mentioned i am doing a collaboration with uh, luis Panesso, and i definitely support the way he is actually offering this sort of thing he's not just offering an indicator but a whole strategy with it and he actually has several so go ahead and check it out guys and just make sure to follow him and show some love so guys take it easy I'll see you in the next one.